Ladies and gentlemen, I will be presenting our study entitled Diversity and Habitat Assessment of Mangrove Forest in Gonzaga, Cagayan, Philippines. In the Philippines, it has relatively high mangrove diversity and is considered one of the richest in the world, with at least 42 species of trees belonging to the 18 families out of 73 true mangrove species in the world. The province of Cagayan has approximately 3,967.9 hectares of mangrove areas. In particular, the municipality of Gonzaga has mangrove forests sporadically located in seven coastal barangays with swamp and brackish areas, which cover an aggregate area of approximately 69.1 hectares. Mangrove forest in Gonzaga, Cagayan is poor with an average of 25% living mangrove forest. Most of the areas manifested severe cutting, heavy erosion and siltation, specifically observed in barangays Caruan, Tapel, and San Jose, where the largest tracts of mangrove forests in Gonzaga are located. With this condition of mangrove forests in the municipality, assessment of the remaining, remaining mangrove forests and its habitat are essential for the management and conservation of mangrove resources. However, there is limited baseline information and studies on mangrove forests were conducted in Gonzaga, Cagayan, Philippines. The study purposively assessed the diversity and habitat status of mangrove forests in Gonzaga, Cagayan, Philippines. Specifically, it aims to identify the existing mangrove species, determine the species diversity, stand structure, vegetation, and habitat. The study was carried out in the natural mangrove stands of Barangays Caruan, Tapel, and San Jose, located in the municipality of Gonzaga, Cagayan, Philippines. Transex lines were established at every 100 meters interval. Along the transect line, a series of 10 meters by 10 meters quadrant plots were established for, that, for the assessment of mangrove trees. And within the 10 meters and by 10 meters quadrant, a small quadrat plot with, with two meters by two meters dimension was established as a regeneration plot. In more than one transect line with, laid with 100 meters distance in between. This photo illustrates the belt transect method used for the assessment of mangroves. Research design. The qualitative and quantitative research method was used in the study to obtain accurate information on the mangrove assessment. Mangroves per species with, within the 10 meter by 10 meter quadrant plot were identified and counted. The diameter at breast height in centimeters, the height of the trees, and the diameter of the crown were measured. In the two meters by two meters quadrant plot, the regeneration of mangrove seedlings and saplings per species was identified and counted. The mangrove species were identified in situ and classified taxonomically using the field guide to Philippine mangroves by Primavera and Dianala. Photos of fruits, bark, stems, leaves, and flowers, and fruits of each mangrove species were captured for validation and identification purposes. Flowering and fruiting of individual trees and other tree disturbances were observed. Other observations in the vicinity of the mangrove area were also recorded. Data analysis. Vegetation analysis was analyzed using the following parameters. Population density, frequency, dominance, relative density, relative frequency, relative dominance, and the importance value. This provide a better index than density alone regarding the importance or function of a species in its habitat and gives rank or order for a particular species within the forest community. This also indicates the ecological importance of each mangrove species in each barangay or community. For the results and discussions, in Barangay Caruan, a total of 514 mangrove samples were recorded representing 10 true mangrove species belonging to seven genera and seven families. The species of mangrove found are Acanthus, Elixipolius, Acanthus, 
Colobilis, Acrostichium aureum, Agisseria scorniculatum, Agisseria floridum, Avicenia marina, Avicenia rumphiana, Seriops decandra, Excoexaria agaloka, and Nipa fruticans. These are true mangrove species because they are re exclusively restricted to tropical intertidal habitats and do not extend into terrestrial plant community and are morphologically, physiologically, and reproductively adapted to the saline, waterlogged, and anaerobic conditions as defined by Polidoro et al. The depth breast height of the mangrove trees is ranges from 0 0.48 centimeters to 57.32 centimeters, while the height of the trees is varied from 1 meter to 9.5 meters. Avicenia rumpiana has the largest girt and the largest tree among the mangroves, while spe uh, Speciosum has the smallest girt and smallest height. In Barangay San Jose, a total of 225 mangrove samples were recorded, representing 12 true mangrove species belonging to nine genera and eight families. The species of mangrove recorded are Acanthus helicofolius, Acanthus polubilis, Acrostichium aureum, Agisera floridum, Avicenia marina, Avicenia rumphiana, Brugeria cylindrica, Brugeria sexangula, Seriops tagal, Exocaria agolopa, Heritaria litoralis, and Nipa fruticans. The diameter base height of uh, mangrove varies between 0 0.45 centimeters and 192.87 centimeters, whereas the height of the trees varies between 0.5 meters to 11.6 meters. Avicenia rumpiana has the largest girt and the tallest among the mangroves, while Avicenia volubilis has the smallest girt and the shortest mangrove. In Barangay Tapel, a total of 76 sample mangrove trees were recorded, representing three true mangrove species belonging to three genera and three families. The species of mangrove found are Brogeria sexangula, Heritaria litoralis, and Nipa fruticans. The diameter base height of the mangrove trees is ranges from 1.11 centimeters to 35.19 centimeters while the height of the trees is ranges from 0 0.3 meters to 6.25 meters. Each litoralis it has the largest girt and the tallest tree among the mangroves, while Nipa fruticans has the smallest girt and smallest height. Importance, value, and species diversity of mangrove forest in Gonzaga again. Comparing the abundance of mangrove species in Barangay Caruan, Abyssinia marina was the, mo was the most abundant species with 89 stands recorded, representing 17.32% of the total density. In terms of the importance value, Abyssinia rumpiana dominated among the mangrove species recorded with an importance value index of 81.19%. The abundant species of Isenio Marina rank only second in importance value due to its lower species distribution and smaller relative basal area than uh, Abyssinia rumpiana. On the other hand, Abyssinia floridum obtained the least important value of 3.99%. Meanwhile, the calculated diversity index value of mangrove forest in the barangay is 0 0.87, which is considered very low based on the diversity scale that age of less than 1.99 is very low. This result can be attributed to the dominance of some mangrove species such as Avicenia marina, Decandra, Agaloka, and Volubilis, Rumpiana, and Corniculatum over other species in terms of density and relative density. In Barangay San Jose, 
Avicenia rumpiana was the most abundant species with 78 stands recorded, representing 34.67% of the total density. Meanwhile, um, Cylindrica and Serps Tagal were least abundant with one stand recorded, representing 0.44% of the total density. Avicenia rumpiana had the highest species distribution occurred in 23.26% of the quadrant plots. It can be seen in the table that um, Bruguer sexangula was the most abundant species with 47 stands recorded, representing 61.84% of the total density. In terms of species distribution, Bruguer sexangula and Litoralis both had the highest species distribution being recorded in 23.26% of the quadrant plots. Condition of the mangroves in Gonzaga, Cagayan. Based on the criteria adopted by the GIT et al., the recorded data showed that the mangroves in this barangay are in good condition. This is due to slight disturbance and few cuttings observed. Also, communities near the area are prohibited to disturb the mangrove trees in the area. On the other hand, mangroves in barangays Kerouan and Tapel are in fair condition. The table showed low regeneration of mangroves in the three barangays, which are varied from 0.48 to 0.76 regeneration per square meter. In barangay San Jose, species that were regenerated Regenerated are Brugueres exangula, Visenia rumpiana, and Nipa fruticans, while Barangay Caruan are uh, Abisenia marina, Terps de Candra, and Abisenia corniculatu, and Intapel is Brugueria sexangula. Overall, a total of six mangrove species can serve as seed source for regeneration. These regenerations, specifically, Mangrove seedlings can be collected and conditioned in the nursery for planting purposes. Summary and conclusions. The study revealed that there were 14 true mangrove species belonging to nine genera and eight families found in the natural mangrove forests of Gonzaga, Cagayan, Philippines. 15 mangrove species or 33.33% of the total mangrove species known in the Philippines and 20% of the total mangrove species known in the world is present in Gonzaga, Cagayan. Avicenia rumpiana recorded the largest girt and the tallest tree mangrove tree. Generally, Avicenia rumpiana is the most important species and principal species thriving in the mangrove areas. Overall, very low species diversity was observed in the municipality. The study also revealed that the mangrove forest in the municipality is in fair condition. Based on the result of the study, it was concluded that the species composition, stand structure, vegetation structure, Species diversity and condition of mangrove forest highly depends on the environmental, ecological conditions and anthropogenic disturbances. The study also revealed that the mangrove forest in Gonzaga, Cagayan is being threatened and near of degradation due to various factors such as natural disturbance, population pressure, pollution from household waste and fish pond conversion. This ecological baseline data gathered serves as a reference for the conservation, management, and sustainable development of mangrove ecosystems. Recommendations. Based on the results of the study, the following recommendations are given. A more serious intervention to rehabilitate degraded mangrove areas and to protect and conserve remaining mangroves should be the focus of future mangrove projects of the government and non-government agencies. Implementation of local ordinances for the protection, conservation, and management of mangrove forests in Gonzaga, Cagayan should be done. Conduct an assessment on the carbon density sequestration of mangrove stands in the municipality 
that will that will more encourage communities living near the areas to protect and conserve the remaining mangroves. That's all. Thank you.